Hi, my name is Kayla Jackson. I'm going to share a little bit about my media consumption and how it has shaped me over the years. Growing up, I didn't watch as much television. I enjoyed my time mostly outdoors. But in the winter time, my brother, sister, and I watched shows on the weekends. PBS Kids was one of my favorite programs. Um, shows like Liberty's Kids... Uh, Magic School Bus, Cyber Chase, Dragon Tales, Berenstain Bears, all of these taught me lessons and were very educational and I really enjoyed them. My sister and brother, though, enjoyed shows um, on Nickelodeon such as Spongebob, The Amanda Show, Rugrats, and Fairly Odd Parents, so I'd watch them with them, but those were mostly entertaining without the education woven in. I also watched the news with my mom and my grandparents whenever they had it on. By middle school, I was the one turning on the news in the morning. I'd be the one watching 6 a.m. news. Like, it was a habitual occurrence. And I, even today, I love watching the Today Show. I would I'd still get up on the weekends and on the summer uh, and watch it early in the morning. A couple journalists that I've been inspired by um, growing up has been Oprah Winfrey and Anderson Cooper. I would watch their talk shows when they had them on air, and especially Oprah. She inspired me mostly because she was a black woman who was so loved and admired by so many people around the world. And she's been open about her past struggles and how they she's used those struggles to grow. Her quote, turn your wounds into wisdom, are words that I live by and resonate with me in my everyday life. So today, as an as aspiring journalist, I keep up to date with news through broadcast TV, but mainly through social media apps and online news outlets. That's where I really get my news from, uh, and it's mostly on my phone. Whenever I have downtime, I scroll through Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram. All three of these social media sites um, provide me news as well as entertainment. So I still enjoy mixing my entertainment and education as I did when I was younger. I mainly watch TV shows and movies through streaming sites. I have Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. I can binge watch a season of a show within a couple of days, or I can go an entire three um, weeks without even watching anything. It just all depends on my spare time. Um, my tastes in shows are very broad. So when I am watching shows, I usually go with Peaky Blinders. If you haven't seen it, you really should. I highly recommend it. I've seen the first season about five times. And every time a new season comes on, I'm re-watching it. Uh, but yeah. Historical fiction is one of my favorite genres. It's been one of my favorite genres growing up when I was reading. Now it has evolved, evolved into my shows. I particularly love British history, um, and it's shaped my whole life. From loving the Beatles, Harry Potter, to fangirling even over One Direction and British accents. I have developed a deep appreciation for British culture. The past two summers, actually, I have studied abroad in London, and that experience has changed my entire life, and all I can do now is strive to go back. Uh, London is just like my home, and ever since I've been there, it's all I want to do is go back, and it wouldn't have even been possible if it weren't for my media consumption growing up.